Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at an operating system that I find extremely interesting. Today, we're going to be taking a look at React OS, which is an open source implementation of Windows. Just for a little background, as we all know, Windows is not open source like Linux is. Microsoft has a closed source project for Windows. However, the developers of React OS have basically recoded Windows from the bottom up to run Windows applications, Windows drivers, anything like that on an open source platform. So overall, this is definitely a very cool concept, and let's see how actually good it is and how well it runs. Now, I have heard that React OS is still extremely buggy and it's slow, and sometimes it can just be unresponsive and crashing. So we're going to test all of that in this video. Now, I have used React OS before. However, it's been probably five or six years. So let's go ahead and boot it up and take a look at the latest version. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is go ahead and boot into the CD-ROM, and we're going to see immediately this looks very much like the Windows XP setup. Yeah, we can just see that aside from the font, we, we can just see automatically that this is so similar to Windows XP's and 2000 setup, just with the kind of text that it is, the bottom bar, the controls are basically the same, F3 to quit, I mean, this is so similar. We can see that React OS does remind us that it's in the alpha stage, and so it's not feature complete, and is under heavy development, and it's only recommended to use for evaluation and testing purposes. I don't think I would want to use this as my daily driver considering that it's still under alpha. Let's go ahead and continue. We can go ahead and select our C drive and once again we can either choose FAT or BTRFS. I have never heard of BTRFS. NTFS isn't an option so we're just going to go ahead and choose FAT. Here we can choose where we want to install our files. So this is like the C Windows except there is no C, it's simply slash React OS. So we're just going to go ahead and select that. And just, like I said, this looks exactly like Windows XP. And here we can go ahead and choose our bootloader. So we're just going to go ahead and install MBR and VBR on the hard disk, but we do have the option to install it to a floppy disk as well. And just like Windows XP, we do have that red bar that we can choose to restart our machine. And now we should be booting from React OS on the hard drive. So we are going to pick React OS, just the regular one, and well, we can see that this was like the Windows XP loading screen, except with a few different logos and colors. Now, we should be brought to the setup screen, however, I'm not seeing anything right now. So this just shows like the instability of React OS and just how like unreliable it could be. So we're going to go ahead and just reset the system and go ahead and try this again, and nope it has crashed. So I've actually had this happen twice in my testing and my solution was to literally just reinstall React OS. Hopefully we can get this to work this time. And there we go. We just went ahead and booted right into React OS. So let's go through the installer. Let's go ahead and choose React OS Workstation and just go through with the regular settings. Let's just take a moment to appreciate how similar this looks to the setup of something like Windows 2000. We can go ahead and choose between the various appearances. However, let's stick with the classic Windows 98 2000 style, and then we can go ahead and try other ones like Maizu, which looks kind of similar to Windows 10, I guess, but not entirely. Let's click Finish, and now we are restarting, and I'm hoping that once this turns back on, we aren't going to have to reinstall React OS, because it, like in my testing, I've had now two versions of React OS get corrupted. One thing I do want to do is see if we can install drivers for this so we're going to try and install vmware tools we can see this is reporting as nt version 5.2 which is roughly windows xp or vista so let's install the vmware tools setup.exe and so it did open there and we did get the installation wizard so let's go through it appears to be working but while that's installing let's take a look at the os so just off the bat, we can see that we do have different icons for things like My Computer, Documents, blah, 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 blah. Although I think if we used Microsoft icons, they would kind of get very mad and copyright us. But we do have the same names, like My Computer, which does look, wow. Aside from these icons up here, which for some reason it's really glitching right now. Aside from the icons in the back bar, um, it, it looks very similar. Um, if I can go ahead and open the registry, I would like to see what's in there, but it it's so laggy right now and this isn't the hardware this is just the operating system um, our start menu we do have the name of the operating system on the left side exactly like Microsoft did and we have programs documents settings search 
help and support run log off and shut down let's see we do have games installed and it looks like vmware tools did finish but with some errors and there is no prompt to restart and it's not showing up in the system tray right now so that's a little bit concerning i guess i just want to see do we have the same commands as we do have the same commands as windows so directory of c it really emulates the windows command prompt Taking a look at the readme we can just read a little bit more into this so react to us is open source that is compatible with applications and stuff written for nt family of operating systems so nt4 2000 xp 2003 vista and 7. okay so yeah it's not it's not bringing me any confirmation to log on to the server so i don't think we're going to be able to do that but in the system registry this is basically the registry editor i mean it has all of the registry keys i am shocked at how similar this is to windows xp or 2000. let's take a look into okay so it looks like there is internet somewhere i just don't know where i mean maybe i'm just blind but i really do not see I mean, unless it's like right in front of my face like i do not see the wine internet browser but there is an event viewer which looks shockingly similar to the windows xp one and here's our about so we have the big react os logo and okay so there's the wine internet explorer it decided to open but it is being a little bit laggy but now that we have an internet explorer let's see if we can download google chrome I honestly don't know if Windows 7 still supports Google Chrome. That README file did say for XP, Vista, and 7. I know Chrome dropped support for XP and Vista, but I am so unsure about 7. But I guess it doesn't really matter if we can't even download. Yeah, YouTube isn't even going to work. I wonder if Firefox would work. Okay, so it, Firefox is detecting that this is Windows XP or Vista. I'm not sure how this is going to download, if we can download... There should be a pop-up, but I'm not seeing it. So this operating system is definitely unique. It is one of the more interesting operating systems that I've taken a look at, just because of how similar it is to Windows, but also how different it is in a way. So overall, this is a very cool project. I would like to see a practical use for it, but I really don't see a practical use for it right now. I guess this is just more of a concept. So this is more this is one of the more interesting operating systems I've taken a look at. I would really like to see a practical use for this. However, I really don't. I mean, it's a cool concept, but I there's really no purpose for it right now. When there's a purpose for it, I'm definitely going to revisit, but it's right now in my vision this is just a project. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is simply a someone's fun project because really most applications don't even support XP or Vista anymore. So unless we can somehow get this up to date like Windows 10 or 11, I don't think that this has really a purpose. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different videos, including device restorations. That being said, I'll see you all in the next one.